Are you wondering whether Smartsheet is like Excel? Well, if so, then you've come to the right place because today I'm going to be walking through how Smartsheet is like Excel and how it is different. So first and foremost, I've used Smartsheet and Excel for several years now in my role as a project manager. Um, I've got a lot of experience in both tools and I'm, this video is going to be kind of my experience where I see similarities and where I see those differences. And I'm going to start by actually giving you my overall opinion. So is Smartsheet like Excel? Well, in many ways it is, and in many ways it isn't. So they enable you to do similar things, but they work in very different ways. And I'm going to show you those similarities and differences now. So we'll start off with the similarities, and I will be opening up the, uh, the different software and tools throughout this video. I'll be kind of showing you those um, I'll start with one and then compare it alongside the next. So you'll, you'll kind of see the differences in kind of real time as well. So do stick around uh, and keep watching because you'll, you'll see exactly what, what it looks like in, in the different tools. So firstly, the similarities. So these are the, the, the main three that I saw and, and I kind of see between the two. So first and foremost, they are spreadsheet based. So, I mean, the name is in the title with, with Smartsheet, but uh, Excel, we all know that it is probably one of the most, if not the most widely used spreadsheet tool. So if I back out, out, out of this here, so I've, I've opened up um, Smartsheet here and I'm, I've created some, some different templates ahead of this uh, video. So if I open up this sheet here, so this is a project plan that I've, I've pulled together um, it's, it's all dummy data, but what I'm trying to show you here is the, the basis of, um, of Smartsheet and its functionality is a spreadsheet. So you, it, it's, you know, it's column based with rows as well. Um, and it's, you know, you can enter your data here and enter all the information that you need. So this is in, in Smartsheet, this is known as a grid. And for the most part, it's probably the most widely used um, piece of its functionality. There are other things and I'll get into those shortly, but a grid um, aspect is uh, and spreadsheet is at the core of this product. So do bear that in mind. And if we head back over to, to Excel, so this is an Excel equivalent of, of that uh, project plan, obviously slightly different tasks, but you'll see again, as, and as I'm sure you know already, it's spreadsheet based. So it's, you know, you've got your columns and your rows. So exactly the same there, you know, you've got, these have just been renamed, but usually if you, you create a new, a new sheet, this will be column one, column two. So it works in very, very much the same way. Um, obviously some, some visual differences. At the top here, you've got a lot of the kind of formatting options as well. So, you, you know, you've got things like, you know, change the alignment, change the coloring, that kind of thing. So if I go on um, insert, that's probably, uh, not insert, sorry, uh, home, the home tab, sorry. Then you'll get more of those. So we've obviously got the this kind of formatting uh, and in here, if you if you look at the top here, you've got that kind of a line uh, and the, the kind of basic formatting here. So you know you've got that kind of similar aspect of the of the tools. They work in in that kind of way. So next up, um, we're going to look at number two, and that's you know formula driven. So a lot of the benefits of working in Smartsheet or in in Excel is that you can use formulas to basically automate your your processes or your tasks. Uh, and make them a little bit, uh, make, you know, keep, save yourself some work. Um, in in Smartsheet, um, formulas work in a very, very similar way. So you start a formula, you enter, you know, you go into a cell where you want to use the formula and you'll start with equals. Um, and it, it works with very similar kind of semantics as well. So a VLOOKUP starts in very much the same way. It's equals VLOOKUP. You know, you have your search value, your lookup table, column number, and you know, this is very, very similar to Excel. So if I go back into Excel here, I've got a new tab called um, formulas. So, you know, equals VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP. So it's the same kind of formatting. There are some differences and in Smartsheet, they are known as functions, not formulas. So do bear that in mind. Um, but if you look, if I go into Google actually, and I just type in Smartsheet functions, there's a functions list that you can leverage from Smartsheet. And you'll see, if you look at some of these, oh, let's allow the cookies here. If you look at these, you'll see you'll see kind of a lot of overlap with the ones that you can use in Excel. So we have count, for instance, count if, count ifs, dates. 
you know, there's 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 a lot of form functions or formulas here that you can use, and you'll notice that they're very very similar to Excel. Um, as I say, they are slightly different. You, they're not exactly the same. You couldn't, you know, use you couldn't copy and paste from Excel into Smartsheet. That wouldn't work. I've tried it. Um, so you will need to find the the, the kind of different versions. Um, but they both use formulas, and you can really kind of fasten and, and and improve your workflow by using formulas. And they're recommended as well. So formulas are both key functionality of both of the different um, systems. Third, we've got fantastic for data collection and analytics. So what I mean with this particular point is, you know, with Smartsheet, you can create lots and lots of different uh, spreadsheets to store all of your data. And it's not just adding data, you can do a lot more with it. So with uh, Smartsheet, you can, there's three main different aspects of the tool. You've got grids and sheets, as I've, I've kind of previously mentioned. You've got reports that can pull loads of different information together. And then you've got dashboards, which are kind of like your 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 um, graphs in Excel. So this is an example uh, dashboard that's been just pulled together. It's from a template set, actually, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but this is, you know, it, it gives you that visual uh, representation of data. And as you know, that's something that you can do in Excel as well. So obviously I haven't got all of the data here to, to show you, but if I was just to, to give you an example of the equivalent, it would be, you know, these um, recommended charts. So you can have things like bar charts and pie charts. And so if I go all charts, you can see these line and pie bar, you know, you've got all these different options here. So it's, it's, it's a visual representation of the data. Uh, and if I head just back into Smartsheet and uh, make some changes here, if I was to go edit uh, um, pie chart and series, no, this is probably not a good example. If I go cancel, I'll go here and I'll add a new widget. So let's go chart. This is what I want to do. So if I, what I'd need to do is add the data. Let's just say it's from this sheet here. I just need to get a source of the data. Um, it's loading as you can see. Hopefully this will work. Uh, if not, I don't know how long this is going to take. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to show you in this instead. I was just trying to create one myself, um, but if I just go in here, they'll, you know, Smartsheet have got a lot of different helpful resources. So I've just typed in, you know, charts and dashboards, and you can see some of the examples here. So this is essentially what I was just trying to create. Um, if I don't really want to go through this video, really, but are great to if I close that off, you'll just, I'm just trying to show you the different examples that there are. So you've got, yeah, so you've got your bar here and you've got things like pies as well. And you've just got various different options for visually representing data um, as you do in Excel. That's number two. Number three, uh, that, sorry, that was number three. So yeah, you've got that analytics aspect. You've got data collection as well. So that's where they're quite similar. Now let's move on to the differences. So these are the seven main ones that I've kind of identified. And the first and foremost, and this is key to understanding the difference between Smartsheet and Excel, is that Smartsheet is an online platform, whereas Excel is, you know, a local, it's a, it's a software that you download onto your PC, whereas Smartsheet, you know, you access via the internet. So as, as you can imagine, Smartsheet, you need to have access to the internet to be able to use it, whereas Excel, you can work offline. So that's kind of key to, to, to remembering. And, 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 you know, with that comes the ability to have kind of real-time data or kind of a static save. So what I mean by that is if you're working in Smartsheet and you save it, you know, it's, it's uploaded to the cloud. When you come back, you're going to get the latest um, Smartsheet kind of uh, whatever you saved in Smartsheet. With Excel, you, you need to open the last save for you to get your latest work. And you know what happens when you overwrite, you know what happens when you can't find it, or if you forget to save, you kind of lose that, that data. So you imagine that's how they kind of work. You've got a real time versus a static save. And there's benefits and pros, to, uh, uh, pros and cons uh, with both as well. You know, Smartsheet, it is, its uptime is very, very good. I've, I've used it for many years and it's not really ever gone down. Uh, at least for any significant amount of time, but it does happen. So you do need to think about that. Um, whereas Excel, you know, unless your computer crashes, it's never, you know, it's never really gone down. And then from an access perspective, um, 
in Smartsheet, the way it works is everything is kind of locked down until you share it. So that's kind of part of the, um, this is what a mess I've created here. But if I don't save, if I come out of this, with Smartsheet, everything is locked down to you unless you share it. So, you know, you don't have to worry about data, um, you know, your com confidentiality or everyone having access to your work. This is all locked down to you until you share it. And that's essentially how people get access to it. So if I was to click on this, there's a button on the top right that you click and it's share. And you essentially, you know, add your, your other users or individuals with a Smartsheet account. You can also do it with people outside of Smartsheet. You can just sense their email and they can access. Um, so yeah, the way Smartsheet works is everything's locked down and you share it. But as you know, with Excel, you have to literally save a copy and send it via email or, you know, you, or drop it in a Google Drive. That's really how access works with Excel. And, you know, then that individual then needs to work off your copy. Perhaps they'll save a copy and send back the new copy. And, you know, you have all the issues with naming conventions and things like that. So just bear that in mind. That's kind of a key difference that I've kind of observed. And it is something that will have an impact depending on what you want to use them for. Now, the next one I've got is folders and workspaces and tabs. Now, one major differentiator between the two is Excel has tabs. So you basically, as you, I'm sure you're aware, you'll create new sheets and you have, you know, you can kind of navigate between them and it's a way of organizing your different, your, your data. Whereas in Smartsheet, you don't have tabs. So, you know, this is one of the first things that people notice and you can't kind of jump between anything. You know, you've got one sheet and you're thinking, where, where are my others? Well, Smartsheet has devised a different way of working and you basically have the differences. You have kind of workspaces and folders and imagine this like your local local hard drive on your PC. Um, so you, what that will essentially, you know, that's how you divide up your, your, your work really and where you store things. So this, this is a folder. Um, let me create a workspace just to give you an example. So create a uh, workspace. So test workspace. So this is the workspace. And as I've mentioned before, with privacy and data sharing, you can share sheets, but you can also share workspaces as well. So you can keep sheets in different workspaces. So you'll see this is just shared to me. So this is the workspace and this is a folder. So test. And, and the one way you would then kind of do the equivalent of tabs or, or I should call them um, sheets is you would literally just put them in different places. So you could have sheet one in here, you, or you could have sheet two as well. Um, and then this is how you'd navigate between the two sheets or, or your tabs as the equivalent, or you could have them in different folders as well. So just bear that in mind. It's a different way of working. Pros and cons again to both, you know, it may be a big thing for you, it might not, but just bear it in mind. Now, automation functionality. Now, this differs quite quite a bit, actually. Um, Excel, really, your only way of automating are via formulas, or if you do know um, macros or you or you have some good coding knowledge, you can set those up, which are obviously fantastic, but they they are quite difficult to learn, and, and you know the the average user won't know those, um, or you need to you know hire someone to to do that for you. Um, that's your, kind of your main automation. Um, abilities, but but in Smartsheet it's a lot more user friendly, and there's a lot more options. So when I say automation, there's a whole piece of, of functionality in the tool itself that you can use, and it's visible from the top of the sheet. Uh, you left click, and you can create what are called workflows, and you can manage workflows as well. And what these basically enable you to do, I'll just give you a quick example here. I'm, I'm not going to run through this. I'm not going to set one up, but you can basically set um, different. Um, workflows into into place for when certain things happen within a sheet so in this example you know when a field changes to a particular value that you specify someone's notified or or something happens look or an update request is sent or you know someone's assigned to it or a date's recorded or the low or the rows locked for future editing so there's all these different things that you can do all these automations that you know that you can set up for when things change or or when things happen within a sheet or at certain intervals so you have all this all automation functionality available for you right out of the box that you just don't have with Excel. Um, and that's one of the main benefits of Smartsheet. So that is one of the key differences between the two. Um, and, and following on is the collaboration. So again, as I've mentioned with Excel before, you know, you're saving copies, you're sending copies, it's a bit of a nightmare, you've got to have some kind of shared working space like a Google Drive to access the sheets. Whereas in Smartsheet, you know, you all have access to your account. You all visit smartsheet.com. You log into your account. And if you're shared to it, it's going to be shown here. 
Um, and you know, the other part of this collaboration is you can kind of, you can, so if I go into here, you can, you can, um, there's, there's an activity log, which logs all the different changes to a sheet so anyone can view what you're doing. You can ask for people to submit um, updates so you can send them requests so they get an email every time you want them to do something or or at a certain interval or you can you know you can add you have conversations in sheets so you know you can at them and they get a notification when you've you've asked them something or, or dropped a message to them so there's all this collaboration functionality that you know you just don't get in excel so probably one of the benefits of smartsheet over excel um, but it is a key difference and something to bear in mind Number six, I've got API access and integrations. So Smartsheet, for the most part, they, you know, they call them connectors as well. I've opened up this um, resource on, on Smartsheet's website. Um, but it gives you, it shows you all the different applications, the 94 uh, uh, at time of recording, that you know you can set up all these integrations to connect all of your different platforms together. So we've got Outlook, and there is interesting, uh, interestingly, Excel here as well. So what this can basically do is just make sure you know your data or, or, or things work um, or your, your systems work seamlessly um, or you get all the data you need or even if you wanted to, you know, there's one actually called the Pivot app. So that's probably another thing to mention. Pivot tables are huge in Excel, but pivot tables aren't really a thing in Smartsheet in the kind of out of the box solution unless you purchase this Pivot app. Um, there are ways of going about, you know, alternatives, but this is the main way to get a direct equivalent of a pivot. Um, but yeah, what I'm trying to tell you here really is there's all these different integrations available in Smartsheet um, and, in, and with Excel, it doesn't really go the other way. So while you can integrate into Excel, Excel doesn't really, you don't really get um, integrations the other way. Um, and yeah, whether that's a problem, it, it depends what other systems you use. Um, maybe those systems already have an Excel integration, but they may not. So just bear in mind that integrations and, you know, things like API access does differ between the two. Now, the last thing I'm going to cover today, and I'm sure there's plenty more, um, you know, if you start using the tools, you'll, 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 you'll find probably differences, but I just wanted to show you the kind of main ones and the big ones for me. Um, but the main one's probably pricing. So I've opened up a couple of different things here. Now, Excel, you know, there's a couple of different ways to pay for it. Um, I've purchased mine, uh, I've had a one-off one -off fee and it cost me, you know, I think, so it's $160, I think, for, for a one-off fee. But um, obviously, I've, I'm, you can probably tell by my accent, I paid uh, UK pounds, obviously a little bit lower. I think it worked out £150, I think I paid at the time, actually. But that gave me unlimited access to Excel forever. Now, I do know that, you know, you can pay a monthly fee as well. You don't have to buy this as a, as a one-off fee. You can buy you know, you can pay a monthly fee and there's also, I believe, you, there's another package that you can pay um, to get kind of updates. So I think you pay once a year and you get, the, or, or you pay a, an extra fee to get the latest update. So do bear that in mind. So Excel costs, you know, you're looking at this kind of price, whereas Smartsheet has a flat fee per month. So I'm on the UK one here. So if I just go into US dollars, because you're, you're probably in the US watching this. If you're not, uh, I'm sorry, if you're in the UK, then... Uh, you know, you can you can always go on here and select, or, or even if you're in Europe somewhere or somewhere else in the world, you know, you just click on these different options here. Um, but obviously there's a tiered pricing structure depending on how many users there are in your team. Let's just have a look at number one for now. Um, let's assume you're doing it for, 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 for one, but you know, you've got different flat fees per month. You know, and there's no forward fee you can pay. You'll always be paying a monthly fee. Um, you'll build annually here. And, you know, if you've got different requirements, you're a business or an enterprise, then you're basically going to have a custom solution designed for you. And the cost of that will range. It depends how what you need and it depends how many users you want. So, you know, if you've got a big, big team, let's put 50 users in, you know, you can't even see a price here. It's got to be tailored to you um, and you'll need to speak to a, a Smartsheet representative in order to do that. Um, I should have noticed, sorry, you can pay my by monthly or yearly as well. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, the pricing is very, very different um, and how costly it is 
will depend on your team what you and what you need it for. Uh, in my experience, Smartsheet is consider if you've got a team, it is consider considerably more expensive. But then you do need to consider that you're paying for those extra features, like um, f you know the the collaboration features and all the benefits of working online as opposed to the offline copies. So do bear that in mind. And as I say, the best you getting in contact is the best way to get a quote. They'll give you a quote first and foremost, and then you work from there really and work out what's more cost effective. Um, consider that if you're working multiple users, it, everyone's got to have their own kind of license or, you know, this is for one PC or Mac. So if you've got 20 users, everyone needs one of these, you know, you can see how um, the, the cost can start to escalate there. So they're really the main differences I've seen. So Smartsheet really, it is like Excel, as I say. Um, there's They're both spreadsheet systems and platforms by default. But as you've seen in this video, there's also a lot of differences between them. Um, what's better, what's worse? Well, it's gonna come down to your preferences. It's gonna come down to your needs as well. The type of organization, the type of projects you run and what you really need them for. Um, you know, it, it really does depend. So I can't say what one's better for you, but if you do drop a comment down below, maybe I could make some recommendations. And, and while I'm talking for comments down below, if you have any questions about this video, Smartsheet, Excel or anything, you know, do drop them down below. I'll do my best to, to answer them. Um, but with that said, I hope this video is useful. Please do hit the like button if it was. It tells me I should continue creating videos like this and do subscribe to my channel where I've created a lot of videos on Smartsheet, on Excel, on anything related to project management in general. Uh, and yeah, with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.